Good morning, Chicago. 89 WS. When I tell you that on John and Lauren. Good morning. Good morning, Lauren. On John and Lauren, the governor's the race for governor and politics rolls through here. We're not kidding. Because four years ago, the man sitting across from me probably could have been and should have been elected governor of Illinois. He'd be governor now. But for four or five other candidates, one being our friend Dan Proft and several others in, the, in DuPage County, they split that vote. He lost the um, Republican gubernatorial primary to Bill Brady of Bloomington by 193 votes. I think he would have cleaned up on Pat Quinn. Now, though, he's 25 points down. He is uh, running a very rugged rhetorical campaign, onslaught after onslaught now. His name is Kirk Dillard, senator born in Hinsdale, or from Hinsdale, and a former third baseman for the Hinsdale Red, they hated Hinsdale Red Devils, <laughs> since uh, my kids go to Lions Township. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Senator. Good morning, uh, John and Lauren. It's great to be in the studio with you. Did I have, did I get that wrong about the fact that my, my assessment is that it weren't for four or five other candidates in DuPage County where you are strong, you probably would have been, you would have been the nominee and I would, I would suspect the governor. You know, I had Jim Ryan, the former attorney general and my state's attorney running, uh, who was really the, the largest vote getter. Bob Schillerstrom dropped out. He was my incumbent, incumbent uh, DuPage County uh, board member, but he still got 7,000 votes. Yeah. And I would submit out of his 7,000, 193 souls would have voted for me. Dan Proff grew up in Wheaton. Uh, and then Anna Manjewski, my friend, uh, lives a couple blocks away. His kids go to school uh, with mine. And, right. and he obviously, uh, at least at St. Isaac Jokes Parish, received uh, votes that I probably would have gotten. Okay, did I ask the nice softball, like, hey, how you doing kind of question? Can um, we get to my usual ab demeanor? Ab absolutely. All right. Um, Although the, I do want to point out I was born in Chicago yes, and sure. lived in the city. In the debate last night, that was pretty rough on WGN TV. Um, you were accused by your opponents, particularly Bruce Rauner, um, of being basically the Democratic stalking horse because you are getting all these endorsements from all these endorsements from the unions. For example, ask me and so on. How do you? How can you stand and run for the Republican nomination, having endorsed Barack Obama in a commercial, and then getting money and support from the very public unions that are, um, you know, part of the whole pension crisis that, and pension issue. Well, I almost laughed and fell off my stool when Bruce Rauner questioned uh, my Republican credentials, You're not having, laughing out, having been the uh, Republican chairman of DuPage County and, as the Tribune said, a stalwart Republican in an editorial once. You know, Mr. Rauner vacations and is the best friend with Rahm Emanuel. He's given a million dollars to Democrats. Uh, he even voted in Democratic primaries. So for, you know, Bruce Rauner to, to, to question my Republican credentials uh, is ridiculous. Um, you know, to answer the question. Um, How do you serve two minutes? I have, I have some union support, John. Mm -hmm. And since when is it terrible to thank a teacher? The operating engineers who uh, support me are probably 50%, 50% Republican primary voters. And big the, gun guys. the teachers, and correct, and social conservatives mm -hmm. as well. The teachers would have up to a third of their members taking Republican primary ballots. And if you want to win an election, you better expand your base. It's not a club of with a private handshake of a bunch of billionaires like Mr. Rauner has that, that contribute to him. You know, I respect people that work for a living. My grandfather worked for 50 years when he immigrated to this country in a factory by Midway Airport. And the Republican Party in Illinois needs to wake up. We're not some private club. And, uh, you know, I don't agree with the teachers on a lot of things. Uh, and uh, as I, you heard in the little segment, I'm not for a progressive income tax. I didn't vote for the 67 percent income tax. Can you tax. stand up to pension reform, appease the taxpayers while you well, are pension supported reform, by pension reform, is, pension reform is passed. It's before the Supreme Court. And I will tell you, Lauren, that uh, I voted for Senate Bill 7, which was the major school reform bill. I certainly voted for the Chicago school reform, and I voted for Reverend Meek's voucher bill as well. So, uh, you know, these guys need to tell us what's their plan to build the economy and stop putting words in my mouth. 
I'm the father of a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old, and I ask teachers day in and day out tough questions. Well, we've got more tough questions to you from our listeners. Senator Kirk Dillard will be coming back with you in just a couple seconds.